Hi. If you've done any of your homework this year, you will already be accustomed to Hegarty Maths. This video is about making sure you know about some really useful things in it that will help you to become independent learners and to use it really helpfully for your revision. Firstly, just getting onto it, if you're somebody who forgets their password, on the next page. There is that button that says ask for a password reset. If you ever click on that, make sure to send your teacher an email as well so that they know to reset your password. And then make sure you write down your new password this time so you don't need to do it again. Okay, next, actually in there. Okay, I've logged on and here's how it should look to you. Your aim is to make that green bit there bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to your actual GCSE exam so that by then you've covered all of the skills. You should be used to going to my tasks at the top and seeing what your teacher has set, but suppose they haven't set anything and you're just doing some independent revision. You have two options. First option is to think about some of the things you've done recently and type them in the search bar. So it could be that you've been doing some probability recently and you have a choice of all of these things. So let's go for that one. And you might try that one and see how it goes. Maybe it's a little too hard. So next tip, whenever something's a little too hard, scroll down to the building blocks. These are the building blocks of knowledge that you might need to know before having a go at this one again. So you can do these and then come back to this one and give it another go. Okay, that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do when working independently is to click on the revise button. And there are two options here as to how Hegarty sets you some revision tasks. My favourite is the fix up five. Because it shows you questions that you have previously not gotten right. So you can go back and fix them. Let's give it a go. So this is a question that this student has previously not gotten right. They might try it again straight away, making sure to use pen and paper to do some working out. But if they can't, if they've forgotten or if they need any help, the video is right here. And it doesn't just go to the start of the video, it's really useful. It goes to the exact moment in the video that you need to watch. So you don't waste time with other stuff that you might already know, it directs it for you. I think that's fab. And again, if you want to look up that task specifically and do the full task, you can use the search bar. So you can watch that, have another go, and then carry on with the fix up five. And that's all I want to say. So if you have finished with your other work or just want to do some independent revision, those are the things that you can do that are really helpful in Hegarty Maths. Good luck with that.